really like this coffee. Well, he's a two-time Ari winner and Grammy nominee and now in New Zealand for a nationwide tour. Please welcome to the Good cafe. Heavens. Acoustically, <laughs> I haven't finished your introduction well, yet. Oh, <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> acoustic yes. guitar legend, Tommy Vinuel. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, <laughs> Earthlings. Those, you know what? There's so many accolades. We could only fit a couple of them in there because oh, you've done so many stuff. things. What do you reckon? If you had to name one thing, what's your proudest achievement? My my children. If you can't course. say your children, that was. Oh, my if next you thing. can't say mm. your children. <laughs> oh, uh, turning up on time. That's a really good <laughs> How's one. That? That's a great one, actually. Yeah. No, turning look, up sober. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go right back to where it all started for you, Tommy, because uh, I, I, I heard. Back to the cave days. Back to the cave days. <laughs> I heard a story about a guitar that was under your dad's bed, and you weren't allowed to touch it. Is that right. true? That, that that that's true. It was a maiden guitar. It was a, uh, the first electric guitar that I ever saw, and actually, uh, my father bought it because because he was curious. He mm. was a tinkerer um, and he was curious how an electric guitar works. So he bought one, pulled it to pieces, put it back together and tried to play it. Couldn't, couldn't play it. And at that time I was four years old. I had a little cheap kind of guitar that was really hard to play. And while my dad was at work, um, I used to get in the bedroom there and get the guitar out from under the bed and play it because it was nice to play. And of course I was forbidden to touch it. And he came home early one day and caught me with it. And I thought I was going to get a whooping, you know. <laughs> and uh, he said, can you play that? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, it's yours. And that's how I got wow. my first good guitar. And that guitar is in the museum part of the Maiton Guitar Factory in, in Melbourne, Brilliant. which is probably where they're going to stuff and mount me at, in there as well, you know. Um, one of these days. <laughs> oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. Uh, you're in New Zealand for a solo tour, obviously. I am, yeah. But you have, um, you've, you've been in many bands, Dragon, uh, mm -hmm. you played with Air Supply, Men at Work, Eric Clapton as yeah. well. Do you have I a favourite? I toured with Eric in 1990. Did wow. you? Do you yeah. have a favourite collaboration? Um, probably the album I did with, with my hero, Chet Atkins. Um, that was like a dream come true for me. This is a long while ago now. But, you know, when I was a kid, Chet Atkins was the name on everyone's lips. You know, he was the guy. And uh, so he, he became like a mentor to me. You know, I wrote him a fan letter and, he, we, and we became pen pals. And at that time, I mean, he was producing Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, Charlie Pride, Dolly Parton, you, you name it, Jim Reeves, uh, you know, Don Gibson, the Everly Brothers. I mean, he did so much, you know. And, um, and he took time to write to me, you know. And then in 1980, I went to, went to Nashville to meet him, and we became instant friends. And uh, and he kind of kept an eye on what I was doing. And every time I'd speak to him, he knew exactly what I was doing. Oh, I, I heard you did this, and you got that award. Wow, and got, that's great. You know what I mean? It was, it, it, it was really amazing. And um, and so we, I ended up getting invited to to stay at his house, and we we recorded our album in in his basement, but but basically, and um, and then next thing we get a Grammy nomination, and so that was like wow, you know, my that's life came full circle from just yourself. listening to mm. him as a kid to being with him, you know, and working with him. Unfortunately, uh, he died of cancer at the age of 77. But, uh, you know, he had it five times. Uh, uh, and let's talk about your, your, your style, because you, you make a guitar dance and sing. You pick it right. up and your style is incredible. How do you learn all that? And do you have to do a lot of exercise? I'm still learning it. You're Believe still me, learning? it yeah. never ends. It, 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 you know, every day is like, OK, let's get up and work on this thing. You right. Know? Um, there's no standing still with it mm -hmm. because things are moving all the time and, and uh, uh, I'm trying to, you know, improve my skills because you have to have, a, you have, to have technique to be able to express yourself, you know, but it's all about the music. It's about the quality of what you're doing. That's what really That's stands, what really counts. you know, and, but without that technique, you can't really express it properly. So you've got to have both. Oh, and you're yeah. so good at it, Tommy, too. Well, I, yeah. it's a work in progress. I'm a songs player, you know, I, I'm, and I'm an entertainer. I'm out there for the, for the people. People often say, you know, how does it feel winning this award and blah, blah, blah. That's all very nice, but it, it, the reality is you're there for the people. And that's your job. Well, Tommy, we are really looking forward to you playing something for us as the people uh, very, very soon. Uh, and as you. we said, you can see Tommy Manuel in concert tonight in Nelson before he heads to Hamilton on Friday, Auckland, Saturday. For ticket details, go to Ticketek and Ticketmaster. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much, Tommy. Have you. a great time while you're here in New Zealand. Yeah, it's going to be a blast.